SpaceX has flown several prototypes of Starship, but we haven't seen it fly higher than 12.5 kilometers or 4,000 feet yet. But that's about to change. A few days ago, a fully stacked Super Heavy prototype was rolled out. CEO Elon Musk confirmed that Starship will have a lot of improvements to be able to successfully complete its first orbital goal, and further the goal of colonizing Mars. The scale of Super Heavy is insane. It stands roughly the height of an entire Falcon Heavy, and with Starship on top, they measure a staggering 120 meters or nearly 400 feet tall. The fully stacked craft is overwhelming, becoming the largest rocket ever. What is the first improvement? Musk wrote on Twitter that the company plans to build an engine known as Raptor 2. Center engines on ships will be the same as booster engines. This is basically Raptor 2. This will be a more powerful version of the Raptor engine, the same one used for the Starship vehicle that's currently under development. The Raptor 2 has been used for test flights with Starship prototype models, the most recent of which in May of 2021 reached a height of 33,000 feet. So has the number of Raptors changed? The long short of it is yes. Musk has teased the possibility of Starship having up to 9 engines instead of 6 like before, 3 for atmospheric flight and as many as 6 for propulsion in space. The Super Heavy is currently planned to fly with 32 or 33. That's a daunting number. Moreover, in May of 2020, he noted that the sea level variant has a thrust of around 200 tons, but there were plans to increase this over time to 230 tons. Current plan is to increase the base Raptor thrust to 230 tons or around 500 million pounds and increase booster engine count to 32 or 33. All Raptors on booster, whether fixed or gimbling, would be the same. 33 times 230 gets around 7,600 tons of thrust and thrust to weight ratio of around 1.5. It helps the booster perform better as it has more power to propel itself as well as the Starship above it. And what does TW ratio mean for Mars missions? SpaceX's website shows the previous plan was for the Super Heavy to offer thrust of 16 million pounds. Musk's comment suggests that this figure could reach 17 million pounds. By comparison, the most powerful rocket to fly ever was the Saturn V, which last flew in 1973 and generated just 7.6 million pounds of thrust. The firm has kept things somewhat vague when it comes to payload capacity. The website claims it can lift over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit, but that may be an understatement. In April of 2020, everyday astronauts suggested the rocket could lift something closer to 156 metric tons to low Earth orbit. At the time, Musk confirmed this was indeed the long-term goal. Mass of initial SN ships will be a little high and ISP a little low, but over time it will be around 150 tons to LEO fully reusable. For Mars missions, the most important information could be the TW of 1.5. The thrust to weight ratio shows how the thrust compares to the weight of the vehicle itself. Unlike an aircraft that takes off horizontally, a rocket that launches vertically needs its thrust to be higher than its weight. The higher the TW, the greater the acceleration. In January of 2021, Musk explained that a higher ratio is critical for a reusable ship like Starship. TW will be around 1.5, so it will accelerate unusually fast. High TW is important for reusable vehicles to make more efficient use of propellant, the primary cost. For expendable rockets, throwing away stages is the primary cost, so optimization is low TW. Sending up more cargo at a time is ideal, but for the reusable Starship, it needs to use propellant as efficiently as possible to return home from Mars. As of 2021, Starship has yet to reach space or orbit once, but SpaceX isn't far from that milestone. Eventually, perhaps only a few years from now, Starship will have successfully launched into and operate in orbit dozens or even hundreds of times and become a mature and reliable spacecraft. And that's all the information we have for today. Let us know what your thoughts for on today's topics and please comment down below. Remember, thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode and subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of future Great SpaceX content. Thank you so much. My team and I will see you next time.